Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 28. In this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over part 2 for accessing speech bubbles within the designs gallery. In this tutorial, we're going to go over matching versus not matching a series of color names. And we'll also go over, you know, how to rename those color, colors that are named colors. And you'll see what I mean as we go through this tutorial. And I'm going to try to help you understand the importance of renaming your colors so it's not as confusing when you're modifying the colors of a speech bubble. And again, don't worry if that sounds complex. It's not really. And I'll make sure I do my best to help you understand what I mean. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, Make sure that you have the option for designs gallery on the right side of your screen. If you don't see this on the right side of your screen, the designs gallery, then go to utilities in the upper left hand corner in your menu and look for the option that says galleries and then it'll be a flyout menu and look for the option that says designs gallery. If you don't see that there with a checkbox by it, then you're going to have to left click on it. But if you see this checkbox mark here, then don't worry about it. Just move your cursor off of it, left click in your workspace, and then go to your designs gallery in the right hand corner. And we're going to go ahead and lock this panel with the thumbtack in the upper right hand corner. Once you do that, just like in the previous tutorial, we're going to go to your text panels option folder, left click on that, and you'll see a speech bubbles option. And if I'm going too quick here, make sure you watch the previous tutorial because it's going to explain how you get to this designs gallery and then the speech bubbles. So left click on the speech bubbles and you'll see all your speech bu bubbles that are available. And where you, It's kind of hard to say that word too by the way if I'm kind of fumbling on my words here. Try saying speech bubbles really quickly in a row and <laughs> I think you'll have a little trouble with it too. But nonetheless you'll see all your speech bubbles here and we're going to left click and drag one of the speech bubbles on to the workspace just like before. And what we're going to do next is we're going to pick a second speech bubble. In this case, I'm going to pick red. You can follow my lead if you would like and left click and drag that to your workspace. Before you let go, I'm going to let you know there's going to be a menu that comes up that's going to ask you a question and I'm going to explain that to you. So let that go, your left click mouse button. And you'll see a prompt that comes up that says, do you want to match your colors? And what they're saying is, do you want the colors from this speech bubble that we just dragged, which is red in this case, do we want that to match the colors of this existing speech bubble, which is green? And if we do match it, what's going to happen is any color changes that we make to the first speech bubble we put in our workspace will still reflect on the second speech bubble. So that even though this is a different speech bubble, and it, you know the little speech bubble thing on is on the right hand side versus the left hand side for the which is the green one so the green one has the speech bubble thing on the left hand side this one has it on the right hand side so even though these are two different speech bubbles they're going to have the same exact color schematics so let's go ahead and select the match so that they do match and you'll see what happens when we change the name color so left click on match and you'll see that it has the exact same colors the only difference is that the speech bubble is on the left hand side here for the first one and for the second one it's on the right hand side. So let's go ahead and go to our color editor in the left hand corner, bottom left hand bottom corner of our document here and you'll see that color editor. Left click on that and it brings up the color editor and we're going to click on the drop down menu within the color editor and we're going to go to our name colors and if you remember in the previous tutorial the name colors are beneath that divider line and we're going to choose theme color one and we're going to adjust that color using our color editor and if you drag within the color editor you see that both of these speech bubbles at the exact same time both change to the exact same color no matter where we drag in the color editor the colors are an exact match okay so if you want your colors to match exactly for whichever speech panel you drag in, you're going to make sure that you hit the match option. Now I'm going to show you one other thing. You see that there's some other speech bubbles in here that has the different color schematics. 
doesn't look like these speech panels at the top that are filled with full color. Well, let's go ahead and left click and drag one of those in. And this time we're going to hit match color again. And you'll notice that for this particular speech panel it has a blue outline. So it does its best to keep the colors matched based on the type of speech bubble that we bring in. So instead of it filling the whole background with blue, instead it makes the outline blue. And if we go back to our color editor and choose theme color 1 and adjust the colors, you'll see that again it matches these two speech panels or speech bubbles the best that it can. But in this case just using a red outline. Now let's see what happens if we don't match the color and I'm going to actually move my screen over by dragging the horizontal scroll bar that's right above the color color uh, schematics that we have below here and you'll see that here you just drag this left or right and it'll adjust the horizontal position of the screen. The reason I'm adjusting is because I'm kinda running out of space here so I'm gonna move some of these objects over a little bit so they'll have a little more space to work with. Alright so let's go ahead and drag in another speech bubble but in this case we're not going to match the colors we're going to drag in well actually before I do that I am going to name rename some of the colors for these speech bubbles and I'll explain why I'm going to do that in a moment so let's go ahead and select theme color one well you know we don't need to rename it because you already just remember that theme color one is going to change the background colors of these speech panels with the exception of this last one it will change the outline and remember that light text is going to change the text color if you select that it changes the text color and then you have the text for this last panel which is black and if you change that it will change the text color for that last panel and then you have one other color which is the panel color for this speech bubble and if you drag that around it will change the color of that text panel. So let's go ahead but let's go ahead and select another speech bubble like I was just planning and left click and drag that onto the workspace. In this case we're gonna hit don't match. And when you hit don't match, you're gonna get another series of name colors. In this case we have a theme color 1A and light text A. Now you're probably wondering, wow, you know, these are a lot of name colors. And that's when you're going to want to start renaming some of your colors so that you can have an identifier for what all these colors go to. If you keep dragging in speech bubbles, you're going to get more and more name colors if you hit don't match. And that's a case where you're going to want to rename some of these, these name colors so that you know what belongs to what. But in this case, I'm going to first, before we even get into naming colors, I'm going to show you that you can change this uh, existing new speech bubble that we dragged onto the screen by left clicking theme color 1A. And I know that because it's blue and that's the only thing that's blue in my workspace. But if you're working with a complex document, you may not know that. And that's why we're going to name, rename these colors in a minute here. But go ahead and select theme color 1A. And if you adjust that color, you notice that all your other speech bubbles do not change. They remain to their original colors. The only thing that is affected is theme color 1A. So when you hit don't match, that means that that speech bubble will have its own separate color and it will not affect the other speech bubbles. And if you go to light text A, which is right beneath that theme color 1A, and you adjust the text, only that text is adjusted and not the other text. Whereas if you went back to the other one, the theme color 1A, it will change all the colors at the same time. So those are the main differences between matching the color and not matching. And so when you match a color, that means that all the colors will change at the same time for any of the speech bubbles you drag in. And when you hit don't match, it's only going to change that individual speech bubble which in this case is the theme color 1A and I, I'm going over this multiple times because I know some people may catch it the first time and some other people may take a few times to understand especially if you're very new to the program 
okay so now we're going to go over how to change the color names for these different name colors so that we can have it under a color name that we're more familiar with or that makes more sense for us let's go to theme color one and when you go to theme color one you're going to select this icon here that looks like a little tag and when you left click on that tag icon it's going to let you rename a name color which is the title here it says rename a name color so it's telling us that this name color is called theme color one in this case we can call it whatever we want we can call it you know pan speech bubble underscore bubble you know one and we can call it speech bubble one and if we hit rename and we look in our options here now it's called speech bubble one and then we could call it we can go to the next option here the light text and left click and select that and once we select that in the drop down menu so just remember that when you want to change a name color you gotta make sure it's selected in this drop down menu and in this case we're gonna select the next option light text and we'll go to that name tag looking icon left click on it make sure you select this bottom one don't select this top one because that's not the right one that's for that's for creating a new name color but we want to rename an existing one so we select the the name tag icon that's below when you left click on that for light text we could call it maybe speech underscore bubble text underscore one so now when we left click on this menu we'll see speech bubble one for the color speech bubble text one and we could actually name, rename this one to speech bubble speech color bubble one rename and we'll call it speech color bubble one speech bubble text one and then you'll have text I think that's actually related to a different speech bubble so you don't have to worry about that one we can hit undo but now when you change the speech bubble color bubble one we know that color bubble one is related to those panels and we know that speech bubble text one will adjust both the text for that for speech bubble text one for these two objects here that are green with a green panel color in the background so you know that you can adjust those colors and I, I think it makes sense to give it your own name that you want because it's easier to keep up with things and you won't get as confused so I know that speech color bubble one and speech bubble text one is related to those panels and I think using a numbering system makes it easier to keep track I, you can remember oh well speech bubble one is related to this group of panels and then if you make speech bubble number two a name color then you'll know that it's related to those specific speech bubbles and if the next two options you have here is the text and panel color after the speech bubble color one and speech bubble text one you have text and panel color which is related to this third panel that we dragged in here I'll drag it around so you can see it on screen this panel that I'm moving around is that is related to the text and panel color and you can just leave that the same if you want because I think that's really simple to remember and not hard hard to understand what it's adjusting now if you adjust the panel color again it adjusts the panel color for that and then if you go to theme color 1a which is this one here we can rename that one by going again to the icon here and we could call it speech color bubble two underscore two and so now when we look in here we know that hey okay when I get here this is speech color bubble two and if I want to adjust the color background color of it I just simply move the color around I just think it's more practical to set it up this way but name it whatever you would like for you that best fits your situation and if you want to change the the, the color text for it you would go to light text a and then you can just go again to the name tag and call it speech bubble text underscore two hit enter and then it'll have speech bubble text two right beneath it so always remember this as well this will help you as well to know what you're looking for when you when you look at the the first thing that's listed 
when you drag in a speech bubble is the color which in this case is speech color bubble 2 and the next option right beneath it will be the speech bubble text and the same thing applies at the top if you look at this you'll see that anytime we drag in a speech bubble with and that's the exception is that it has the color background I'm, t I'm referring to these kind of speech bubbles the ones that have the the color background already in it and the text not not this panel here that I'm dragging around this is a little bit different the order that is set up but for the ones that have the color already in the background when you drag it in those will usually have the speech color which in this case we've named it speech color bubble one and it'll have the speech text which in this case we named it speech bubble text one it'll always have the speech color first and the speech text next and, and you'll see that again at the bottom here speech color bubble two and speech bubble text number two and I can change that around so you can see which text panel I'm referring to but for this other uh, speech panel or speech bubble it's a little different they list the text first which in this case if you adjust the text it'll adjust it and, and then they list the panel color which is usually just left to to white but okay that's I think that's enough I think you get the general idea of how to adjust those different attributes for speech bubbles if you have any questions please send me a message on YouTube and I'll do my best to assist you and if you think this video was helpful in helping you learn how to use speech bubbles and using name colors and uh, you know learning how to match or not match those name colors please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay up to date on future tutorials and also if you have any suggestions for types of tutorials that you would like to see send me a message on YouTube and I'll try to put a tutorial together to help you with whatever area you're having troubles with with using XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Thanks again for watching our tutorial. Have a great day.